we here in Colorado Springs are fortunate to have a Challenger Learning Center because the Challenger Learning Center really excites young people on the subject of education in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Minus five, four, three. Challenger Center is a really unique experience for the children that come here. Uh, they are put in an unfamiliar situation right off the bat. It's an application of a real world experience for them. We train the teachers ahead of time. They get lessons that they do in their classroom, but then they come to our center and actually live a simulation. Space Station, this is Mission Control. We are ready to receive. Over. Uh, the teamwork is just uh, amazing to see. The communication, their self-esteem uh, has, has gone up tremendously through the mission. One of the really significant uh, challenges facing our country today is how can we maintain our technological leadership on a global scale? And I believe that key to that, uh, the key for us to successfully manage that challenge is to have a strong program in STEM education. Mission Control, this is the Space Station. I've been doing some brainstorming with my team, and we think that this unknown object could either be a comet, uh, perhaps an asteroid. It so the mission a... is, in itself, not just a mission, but it's a whole, it's a whole experience for them. It definitely is STEM education. Uh, it's more than they could, than teachers could ever, ever do within a classroom. I think this program in particular does a great job in getting kids to kind of, you know, experience something that normally you just don't get to, you know, having a mission control room and a, and a spacecraft, so to speak, and, and getting to see, you know, both sides of the scope. You know, uh, you know, kids that want to grow up to be astronauts usually don't think that, you know, if that doesn't work out, I'll be a mission control operator. But in the bigger, you know, scheme of things, there's tens of thousands of people that support a space mission. And I think this, this uh, program does a good job getting them to see that there's other very important roles and they play a very critical role and they're just as fulfilling as being an oxygen astronaut. System, there is no new oxygen flowing into the space station. Alert, all teams must hit the deck immediately for your safety. Over. All right, crew, you heard everyone hit the deck. Everyone on And the they ground. take charge of the mission. They're excited during the mission. Uh, they feel lots and lots of uh, sense of accomplishment, uh, work through really hard, hard problems where they feel like they have done something really outstanding to the mission, where, where they really have. Um, it does a great job in reaching down to you know, students in Title I schools, students who um, don't necessarily come from the backgrounds that, uh, that you know, cater to having you know, space uh, presence and space knowledge. And uh, you know, the overall goal of all these programs and, and the Challenger program does a great job in that uh, it's, it's here to get kids interested and excited about you know, programs that relate to science, technology, engineering, and math. Teachers come time and time again and can't wait to come back because of what this, this center does for them and for their students. It's a really great place uh, to Space be. Space Nation, we have a message from NASA. Over. Congratulations on rendezvousing with Tom. I think that the Challenger Center has done a wonderful job of uh, bringing high energy to kids that uh, can understand the true value of STEM education and at the same time develop their leadership and teamwork skills.